Online Prophetic Orientation is a prophetic service where the Holy Ghost uses Pastor Daniel Waxon by the grace of Jesus Christ to guide children of God. You enter our studio face to face with the man of God for orientation and deliverance prayers. Go to our website www.jesuschristthehealer.com to register. Remember, distance is not a barrier. Jesus Christ loves you. Join our studio without installing anything. Okay, I was saying, uh, before we continue, we would like uh, to know, uh, first of all, uh, uh, what's happening uh, right now in your body because the first uh, thing that made us to meet together it is to pray uh, for your heart and then uh, we have prayed for more than three times and then I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ has done uh, something good so please you can tell me how are you feeling uh, and then what can you say about the Lord for what he has done so far and for what he is about to do very soon now? You can speak, no, I, brother. I am feeling better uh, every day. I can exercise. I cycle to work every day. And uh, I have no heart palp palpitations. And Hallelujah. my heart uh, seems to be working well. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I thank the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, uh, are you feeling happy as the Lord has healed you? Yes, I am very grateful and thankful that I was cured, I was healed. Uh, now, which advice can you give if we do cut just this portion of a video to motivate someone? Which advice can you give to whoever is also suffering, but he does not have a hope than you. He does not have a faith than the one that you have. It is very important for those people also to know that the God of Brother Daniel in Poland is alive, he is powerful, he is the God of love. Which advice can you give them? My advice is never quit and uh, pray all Hallelujah. the times. So Hallelujah. You, you will finally receive Hallelujah. your healing. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I'm so glad, I'm so glad. To see, Jesus Christ is good. Jesus Christ is love. The reason why He is healing us, it is because He wants us to work for Him. Working for God means, number one, to obey His command. Working for God, number one, is to do and to follow His will. Working for God is not only to be a pastor, an evangelist, a prophet, an apostle, a teacher. No! Even a simple member in the church is working for the Lord because he is obeying, number one, to the instruction of the mighty God. He is obeying to the instruction of the Bible. That is number one, working for God. If today you are a pastor, but you are contradicting the will of God. You will not work for God because in the vineyard of the Lord, Jesus Christ is the master and he has terms and regulation. If you don't respect them, he will kick you out from the vineyard, from the, from the plantation or from the field of work. The same applies in a company. If a person is working for a company, and he does not to respect the regulation of the company, I'm very sure that person will be sucked away. In the kingdom of God is the same thing. Working for God, number one, means obeying to the instruction of the mighty God. Whoever works for God obeys, first of all, to the instruction of of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is the master of the vineyard. So the reason why God heals us, number one, it is for you and I to work for God. And I describe the working for God is first of all obeying to the instruction of the mighty God. 
Number two is to help others to follow the instruction of the mighty God. When you are helping others follow the instruction of the mighty God, you become in activity, practically speaking, to serve or to save no, to save, yes, to save others. Number three, working for God is to testify His love, His kindness, His power of salvation. Those are three reasons of working for God. When you follow this reason, my brother, you will understand that a worker in the kingdom of God is not only a pastor. A worker in the kingdom of God is not only a, an evangelist, a teacher, an apostle, a prophet. No. Working for God, number one, is to obey to the instruction of the mighty God. Number two is to help others follow the instruction of the mighty God. Number three is to testify his power, is to testify his love, is to testify his glory is the king of kings that is what matters today you have just said something which is good that people they need to have hope they need to have faith because you you believed that as you are going to encounter god jesus christ of nazareth will give you healing you had faith that is why it works it is your faith that has healed you. I just came just to, to use your faith as a power contact, as a power contact. You see, in your house, there is a light. That light has a switch. If you put a switch, bam, the light is there. But the light was already there. In your house, the light is there. It's there. In the cable, there is a light. The power is there in the cable. But you need to press on the switch for that light to, to be on. So what I did, I just pressed on the switch. The switch of your faith. You already had the faith. Now you were waiting for the man of God to press. I just pressed. Tuck. Now eh, faith has produced the healing power. Because in the Bible it is said only faith pleases God. Faith becomes a heavenly currency, heavenly currency to buy whatever we need with that money. But God wants you to present the currency of heaven, which is faith. If you want to buy healing from God, God wants you to produce faith. It's a currency. Exchange. Give him faith. He will give him. He will give you what you want. Give God your faith and he will give you what you want. If you go to the market, you need to give money. The seller will give you what you want. So if you want something from the Lord, give him what he wants. It is a faith. Then he will give you what you want. So I thank God for today. I thank God for your faith, which was increased by the power of the word of God. We are going to pray before we go to the next step. The prayer we are going to do is the prayer of thanksgiving. We are going to thank God for healing your heart. Let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ for Nazareth. Begin to pray where you are. Say, Father Lord, I thank you for healing my heart. I thank Amen. you for healing my body. I thank you for healing my body. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Father, I thank you for Begin healing to pray. my heart. Father Lord, I thank you for healing my body. I thank you for healing my body. I thank you, Jehovah, for healing my body. Father Lord, I thank you for healing my body. 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 Pray. 
I thank you for healing my body. Father, I thank Lord, you, I thank you for, for healing, healing, healing my body. Heart, you have my healed me. My Father, Lord, I thank you for healing my body. I thank, I thank you, you Father, for healing my body. You, you have healed my body. Father, Lord, I thank you for healing Brother Daniel in Poland. A miracle. Healing miracle. Healing miracle. The same day you touch his heart, you gave healing power. You gave healing the grace 